hard to say what you can exactly prepare for. The most important, what's been told, what's the most important, just prepare for that. And then just be prepared to rule out options or make intelligent guesses in the execute. So whatever you read, even though it's not a direct question, that'll help you rule out a few options and you can make uh, intelligent guesses, I guess. So yeah, a lot of factors that way. Thank you so much for all the uh, help, sir. Thank you. I bring in all the wishes and readings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Suhas for scoring a topmost rank of uh, CML rank number 5, AML rank number 7 and a super speciality of DM gastroenterology in any SS session November 2023. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Doctor, can we know a brief background history from where you started till date? Yes, sir. So I did my undergraduation from Ramay Medical College, Bangalore, and then I did my post-graduation from KMC Manipal. And now I've written this exam. Okay, when did you finish uh, your Manipal PG program? Manipal. I, I, finished, I finished it last year, 2022, so like May or June uh, at that point. And then uh, I thought I needed like a five, six months break after the course of MD, after the course of MD. And I worked in NASA for a while. And then specifically I started prep for the last INA also. I wrote, I got a common rank of 11 in the seat. Then I tried to prepare for meet. And then after that, the one month uh, gap that we had, I said, you know, why not? Let's give this you another attempt. <laughs> So yeah. you started with the last NEET itself, uh, 2022 September NEET? No, sir. I was, I was clear. I just wanted a break. So I just gave the exam. I did not, I had not prepared anything. I, I, didn't, I didn't prepare last year. So was the primary exam as an NESS exam or a NEET exam? So when I started, when I decided to take up speciality, and I started the first exam was INI, sir, that I could give the April session. So I started my uh, preparation proper in March, April for INI. I didn't focus on NEET then. Especially for INI prepared, but I came close. I missed out by a couple of seats, I think. And then I shifted my focus to need. I had three months to prepare for need. And so it's a different prep because our, uh, the pattern is different and you have to read all of the subjects as well. So it, it, took, a it took some time to read for need. So in time of May, June, July, and August, I was uh, focusing on need itself. And uh, actually, on the day of the exam, I felt I didn't do need well. There were a lot of very avoidable mistakes that I made. Uh, so I, I didn't think I'd get a, a good rank in NEET and I, I realized it was four weeks for I and I said that maybe I'll skip this up as well. But I got, uh, lucky I got a good a good rank in NEET as well and uh, this I and I, because I'd all prepared once for I and I, I just had to do a little more MCQs, a little more fine tuning, a little more added on preparation. And in the three, four weeks I did that and uh, I wrote the I and I without a lot of stress actually. So I'm, I'm really like, I feel very lucky actually. More than uh, excited and thrilled that I got this rank. And yeah, definitely happy, sure. But uh, yeah, lucky as well. Very nice. Why DM gastroenterology? Any specific reason for it? Basically, my thinking was I had to decide whether I wanted something with intervention or without intervention. And uh, my experience through MD, I realized uh, just an OPD and what sort of job is not probably something for me I would probably get bored at. So I wanted something with intervention. And in terms of intervention, it was cardio, gastro, maybe critical care for a while, maybe a bit of it. I, I worked in critical care and I realized I, I, I didn't like it so much. So uh, between gastro and cardio, again, cardio is such an extreme, intense, uh, emergency-based lifestyle, which I didn't think suited me. So I thought maybe gastro was the way to go for me. And I started reading about gastro, especially when I was preparing for INM and for gastro. I was, I mean, it felt nice to read. It was exciting to read. It was, I, I didn't get what I didn't feel like it was something out of my reach it was something i liked doing so yeah and then and then whatever experience of posting that i had in my uh, md med and gastro posting i liked whatever i saw of it though it was a bit cut short because of covid whatever i could see of it i was, I was quite happy and i thought i could see myself being a gastroenterologist a bit of everything a bit of medical a bit of intervention it had a bit of everything so yes sir that's it great doctor wonderful and now can we know what all you did for your preparation to achieve this. Yes, so uh, basically, I mean, the entire, I mean, the base of reading for gastro is Lessinger and the entire, to read the entire book is quite impossible and maybe even not recommended. I guess it's very difficult to read the entire book. So a platform like the speed definitely helps in that way. And uh, the Red Sir's classes or uh, even Darshan Sir's classes when the videos when I started in March, April, those were my basic notes from where I made my notes for uh, gastro per se, 99. 
I, I last time the mistake I did was I didn't practice a lot of MCQs. I guess I didn't have enough time or availability. But so for this INI, basically, I had already read for uh, the previous INI and I read again the same gastro notes for NEET as well. So I just had to revise my notes in a couple of weeks. Again, the basic notes from our conference and I added a lot more revision from like Schlesinger tables uh, from Schlesinger basically and then added uh, some uh, research chapters like the Babino 7 guidelines or the ASL guidelines with important points that were there from important topics and yeah that's and, and most importantly the last two weeks I did a lot of previous year questions and a lot of MCQs so I think doing a lot of MCQs is very important like even th even though you know you've read and even though you know you think you know a subject only when you do MCQs do you really understand you actually know it or just be voids or some like me there so you can go back and read them again so I, I think doing a lot of MCQs and previous year questions and again the exam pattern is a little unpredictable so like this time I knew was I, I thought it was very different from the last time I and I. So it's hard to say what you can exactly prepare for. The most important, what's been told, what's the most important, you prepare for that. And then just be prepared to rule out options or make intelligent guesses in the MCQs. So whatever you read, even though it's not a direct question, that'll help you rule out a few options and you can make uh, intelligent guesses, I guess. So yeah, a lot of factors that way. Very, very nice and uh, very informative and brief. Great. Yes, now, uh, can we know what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of DM Gastro? I mean, in terms of the branch, I feel it's a very exciting branch to be in. In terms of prep, I think, I mean, at least for me, the typical, I mean, stereotypical way of looking at maybe only people from AIMS or PGI probably get back into AIMS or PGI. That sort of idea was there. But some of my co PGs also have cleared AIMS. So that kind of opened up my say, maybe you know what, it's possible. And if I could do it, probably a lot of people should really actually consider doing it because it, it's achievable. It is not a, it's not something that's beyond your reach. And that's something I would say, even if there's like two or three weeks, even the last three or four weeks, which I had after meet, there was a lot of fatigue and a lot of inertia, but you know, just a little bit of push. And even after meet, there was a lot of fatigue and uh, a lot of uh, inertia to again restart. But then you just make that effort and you start. Maybe two, three weeks also helped. Even though there were some distractions in between everything else, just focusing on the last couple of weeks with a lot of MCQs and just revising notes. I think the revision of notes is most important because you can only retain so much with one time reading. It's only a couple more times reading of the same thing. And will help me. I had to, I mean, I was fortunate enough that I got up for, for the last six months. So I could kind of prepare it again for meet and again for this and again. So that kind of helped, I guess. So one, believing that it's possible for anybody to get this. And two, doing the right prep and just doing the basic stuff and revising should help getting iron and Okay. Now, what is the, the time to thank and whom all you want to thank? You can use the opportunity to this platform. You can thank all of them who helped you till date. So there are a lot of help that comes directly your way. There's a lot of help that comes indirectly your way. A lot of factors going. So obviously a lot of faculty members who take out their time, put in this efforts to you know concise the information and give you a regular thing and advise you on what you need to do what you're not not supposed to do seniors that help you some friends that support you uh there are your parents i mean like i've had the privilege of just being at home for the last five six months and not work and i mean it's a privilege, it's a privilege and not everybody gets this chance and i've had that support in that way so a lot of factors play a lot of people play a role my faculty from MD medicine who've trained me well enough and you know the friends who've uh, been able to be there right? when, when you go through a phase of studying alone it's you, you require that support so i mean there's so many people and it's hard to pick out one people but a lot of help comes your way to get what or get these results great it's nice interacting with you today morning and once thanks. again i wish you all the best and all the success for a great thank career you so much, uh, in thank you. gastroenterology and it will do great uh, in that specialty mm -hmm. and you will be at a service for so a lot of people who want it from yours Best oh, wishes. Thank you so much for all the uh, help, sir. Thank you. Best wishes to you. Yes.